So this video is very, very special for me. I'm currently in Guatemala, which is my hometown. I don't think I've mentioned this uh, in this channel before, but this is my parents' place. This is definitely my home in the entire universe. And not only that, but I'm making one of my most favorite foods ever. And I know I say that quite a lot, but I really mean it. This is ceviche, which is a seafood plate surrounded with tomatoes, gorgeous limes, mint. All of these flavors are going to be complementing the shrimp for a very refreshing, colorful, and full of flavor dish. So, let's get into it. With our tomatoes and with our onions, it's actually rather simple. All we have to do is cut both of them into very small cubes. Once your tomatoes and your onions are chopped up, all you have to do is just mix them well. You don't need to be perfect on this. By all means, just be rough. You can just come here and do something like so. All right, so our tomatoes are ready, our onions are ready. Let's go to our herbs. We're going to be using mint, and if you buy it something like this, it's quite simple actually. All you have to do is just put it on your chopping table, and you're just going to end up with the leaves, because you don't want to use the stem. In theory, you could, but it's going to be very, very chewy, and it's, it's not going to help with the texture. I'm also using coriander. So once we've got our herbs together, it's just a simple of a very rough cut. And just put it like that. These colors are so beautiful. You've got this very strong red with the white from the onion. And on top of that, we've got our green herbs. And do not forget that on top of this, our hero is going to be our, our beautiful shrimp. And that's pretty much it. We are very, very close to being finished. Now, let's talk about the hero of this dish. Our shrimp. I bought the shrimp already without head, but it's got still the body. So, if you come a little bit closer, you can see how you have to do it at home if you want to do it. So, all you have to do is just grab it like so, peel it. So, as soon as I finish peeling these bad boys, all we have to do is boil them for around 30 seconds or a minute tops. So, our shrimp are already perfect, and the way you can tell is by the color. You're going to get this gorgeous pink. I'm going to turn this off and just drain them. That's absolutely it. And just a quick tip, you can actually add a little bit of cold water, because remember, ceviche is cold. Cool, ready to go. And just a little bit of a pro tip, this requires a couple of limes so in order to get the best out of your lime just pull it like this to the side so all you have to do is grab one hand second hand and just roll it and by doing this you're making sure you're taking all that gorgeous juice out of it and you can tell when it's ready when it gets a little bit soft so this is ready to go I'm going to be adding Maggi juice, a couple of drops, a little bit of this, and this is going to add that peculiar flavor. This is very important to not skip this at all. My V8 juice, and some salt. And all we have to do is oh my god. All right, my mouth is watering. I'm not quite sure I can talk from this point in time. I'm dead honest. The smells are amazing. Let me try real quick. Perfect. So, I'll just add it. Look at those colors. Doesn't that look gorgeous though? All right, you guys, so like I mentioned earlier, my mouth was indeed watering, so I was not able to record the outro, but I really strongly advise you to make this one. Trust me, you're going to love it, and if you do, do not forget to click that like button, subscribe ASAP, and I'll catch you in the next one.